Yo guys, did I make you wait? Today we have a new man here recap. And it begins like this. In a beautiful village, the sun is about to set. And all the villagers are shaking in fear because the sun is about to set. And a very dangerous monster comes out when the sun is set. The villagers hurry to their homes. They quickly finish their work. They called that monster an old black snake. And it has already ate two people at the mountain god temple. And one of them was a Taoist. The snake not only eats humans but also chickens and ducks. So a little boy suggests his father that they should bring their chickens inside tonight. Even if they are stink, it's better than losing them. Father gets ready to do as his son says. Father and son hurry to bring their chickens inside. As they are passing by that old abandoned house, they feel a sudden chill all of a sudden. And in the darkness of that abandoned house, we see two shining eyes. And it's the old black snake. And is confused about why the people there are calling him old black snake. When it is not that old at all. And it doesn't think that it's that scary. And about the two people, it did eat them. So what happened at that time was, a man came to that temple, begging the god of mountain to save him. The man begged in his force, tears were flowing like a river from his eyes. He was in so much pain, that's why the snake thought. To relieve him from such a pain, and from this painful world. The snake ate him, to help him find peace. And later another person came to the temple, to the snake, he too looked like he was in pain. But this old man was there for the man the snake ate earlier. But this old man was looking like he was in pain in the eyes of the snake. So the snake ate him too. It reunited the two people in pain. After that something unexpected happened. The snake became enlightened, and also developed a demon core, and also gained intelligence. And from then, it realized that how dangerous this world is and how terrifying humans are. Not long ago, the snake was chased by some people in black. They were snake catchers, from the snake catching sect. The snake also witnessed them hunting down a large flower python. Then the snake's point of view changed after that, that cultivators are even more terrifying than humans. They become stronger by cultivating and they have many cultivation stages, like Kai Refining Stage, Foundation Establishment Stage, Core Formation Stage, the Nascent Soul Stage, and many more. Kiss the arse of its luck, the snake managed to escape from such terrifying cultivators. After the snake gained intelligence, it realized that hunting humans is dangerous. So the snake started to hunt small prey like chickens and ducks. However, these small fries are not enough for the snake. Chickens and ducks don't fill it up. The snake is always hungry and now they're getting harder to steal. Then the snake remembers that there is a rich family raising pigs in the Chenjia town. It gets ready to take a look at how fat those pigs are. Then the snake notices something that people has given it a name, Old Black Snake, which the snake doesn't like. So it gets ready to give itself a name. It name itself Zhu Hai. At night, in the Chenjia town, Zhu Hai have come to eat some pigs. It's night and all people in the town are asleep. Zhu Hai quickly gets ready to fill his stomach and leave from there. However, the pigs are making a lot of noises because of the sudden appearance of the big snake. Zhu Hai silent the one making a lot of noise first. After eating a few pigs, he is full, and gets ready to sleep there for some time to digest the food. Because there is still several hours until humans start waking up. However, he didn't get the chance to sleep. Some noises woke him up. Some people have come there to dump a dead body of someone who dared to steal their young master Q's woman. Seeing those terrifying humans coming there, Zhu Hai quickly hides himself on the roof. One man is shocked to see that they beat that guy so bad, now he has stopped breathing. The other guy gets ready to feed that dead body to the pigs. After leaving the body there, they leave from there, but they notice something that there seems to be fewer pigs there. And Zhu Hai after seeing that dead body there, he gets ready to slip from there super fast. But the man lying on the ground opens his eyes, which scared the shit out of Zhu Hai. The man then laughs saying that the immortal has finally reincarnated. The man gets all the memories of the host, and they have the same name, Chen Fan, a name of a main character. Chen Fan engagement got broken, he is useless, his danchen is destroyed. However, now the immortal has taken over his body, so the immortal Chen Fan gets ready to shape the body of useless Chen Fan and get revenge for him. And Zhu Hai is confused about why that zombie is talking to himself. Chen Fan notices Zhu Hai, but he is not scared of that little spirit snake. And Zhu Hai is also scared now that he has been spot. Zhu Hai is scared thinking Chen Fan is from Snake Catching Sect. And a high-level cultivator, if Chen Fan is from Snake Catching Sect, Zhu Hai is a dead meat. Chen Fan gets ready to cultivate because that low-level spirit snake is nothing to him. Chen Fan gets ready to release his spirit energy to scare off Zhu Hai. A dragon appears from Chen Fan's spiritual energy. And it's not just some dragon, but a dragon spirit from the demon god Cauldron, a supreme treasure of the demon race. On the other hand, Zhu Hai is about to wet his pants, if he had one. Because of how Chen Fan is cultivating, and releasing his aura like that. 
Zhu Hai is definitely sure that Chen Fan is going to kill him because he ate Chen Fan's pigs. But he can't return those pigs because he has already digested them. He is scared thinking Chen Fan will roast him now on fire. On the other hand, Chen Fan is getting stronger after cultivating. He is thinking of conquering that world in this new life of his. And Zhu Hai, who is scared thinking that Chen Fan will eat him, he gets ready to make the first move and eat Chen Fan. Zhu Hai successfully swallow Chen Fan in one bite. Zhu Hai then run from there. No wait, Zhu Hai is a snake how can he run? Okay, Zhu Hai then crawls from there to find a safe place and digest Chen Fan. But Chen Fan is not dead yet and is surprised to see that a lowly beast dared to eat him. He gets ready to show that lowly snake, who is the boss there, and starts to punch that poor snake from inside. Zhu Hai, for the first time, he felt a pain from the food he ate. This pain is too much, he is spitting blood from his mouth. Inside his stomach, Chen Fan is using the calm hom ha move. Diablo jump kick. Chen Fan even reached to the demon core Zhu Hai just developed. Chen Fan breaks that core. Zhu Hai is feeling like his life is about to leave him because the demon core got cracked. He rolls on the ground in pain, the pain he never experienced before. After some struggle, he is unable to move. He is feeling like he is dying, but he doesn't want to die. He just developed a demon core. And he also gained intelligence. He regrets of coming there and sleeping there instead Fof running away after eating the pigs. And inside his stomach, Chen Fan is eating his raw meat and has also crashed the demon core. However, something happens and the demon god cauldron that got reincarnated with immortal Chen Fan. It starts to fix the demon core of Zhu Hai. Chen Fan tries to retrieve it, but he is unable to do so. The demon god cauldron successfully fixed Zhu Hai's core. Then a bright light flashes inside the stomach. The dragon of the cauldron appears in front of Chen Fan. Chen Fan is shocked to see that his cauldron absorbed the fragments of the beast demon core. His cauldron is helping the beast. With this he realized that the snake is not an ordinary snake. The dragon then breathes fire or a bright light from its mouth, burning Chen Fan with it. The bright light comes out from all holes of Zhu Hai. Zhu Hai body gets torn into pieces. And Chen Fan doesn't want to accept this outcome. He is the immortal and also got reincarnated. He doesn't want his life to end in the stomach of a snake like this. And he dies. On the other hand, Zhu Hai body starts to dissipate. And he is crying because his demon core got destroyed. But he got a new body, what's more. It seems like he is going to change into dragon in the future. If you guys are enjoying it. Then do 500 likes, also share your thoughts in the comment section, and subscribe to the channel. Next, a pig is trying to eat his tail, and other pigs are checking his new body. The pig tries to bite 500 grams of meat from his tail. Zhu Hai fells that pain, grabs the pig with his tails and gets ready to show them hell for biting his tail. The pigs run for their lives. The pig has deal some damage to his tail. He is super mad, at the same time, he is surprised to see that he is still alive. How? He clearly remembers that Chen Fan crushed his demon core. And demon cores is the base of every demon beast's cultivation. One cannot cultivate without it. And now he is done. His demon core was destroyed. He can't cultivate anymore. It's all over for him. Then he gets confused to see that he is still alive even after his demon core was destroyed. He finds out that there is a demon god cauldron that Chen Fan spoke of. But why is it inside his body? And the cauldron is right there where his core was. He wonders if the cauldron have replaced his demon core and saved his life. What shocked him even more is that he can now see his inside. Not only his, he can see inside of other things in his surroundings. He seems to have gained the divine perception skill that only cultivators has. And with this skill, even if his eyes are closed, he can see his surroundings clearly. He can now hunt more efficiently. But that's not all, his brain. Some unknown knowledges and informations are flooding inside his brain. And the path of the cultivation. He gained all this from Chen Fan, the immortal Chen Fan. Because of all these new information, his head is hurting. So he gets ready to calm his head and heal his body by doing some cultivation. By imitating Chen Fan's meditation. He remembers what Chen Fan said when practicing cultivation. He said that heaven and earth are the chessboard. And all beings are the pieces. When Zhu Hai says the same words, something happens to the cauldron. He starts to see and feel the spiritual energy in his surroundings. As he meditates, his wound caused by that pig starts to heal. He is super happy to see that because in the future if he gets hurt, he can heal so easily. He gets ready to peacefully meditate and become stronger. However, he is surprised to see that the cauldron is acting like a new demon core and is storing spiritual kai in it. He gets ready to leave that place and find a safe place to cultivate. But before leaving he gets ready to fill his stomach first. If he wants to cultivate, he must eat his full first. After that, new knowledge has been popping up in Zhu Hai's head from time to time. All thanks to Chen Fan, Zhu Hai also come to know what are the stages of cultivation in human realm. 
and demon beast cultivation also divided into many stages, just like humans. And the stages of the demon beast cultivation are the spiritual, establishment, demon core formation, and nascent soul stage. And Zuhai's stage is at the peak of the first spiritual stage, which is equivalent of the first human Kai refining stage. After knowing about all this cultivation and stages, Zuhai dreamt of beasts who were able to split heaven and earth. He also now wants to become a beast like that. If he wanted to stop being hunted and live his life to the fullest, he had to cultivate. And so he started to cultivate. He discovered that the cultivation can do more than just heal his injury. It can improve his physique and cleanse his meridians. Not only it get rids of impurities, but it also makes him shed. It has already been a week, Zuhai has become stronger than before. His horns has became longer and scales harder. He looks majestic, however, he has become tiny. He is now only 6 centimeters. He went from 33 to 6 centimeters. Even a small bird looks bigger in front of him now. But the bird doesn't stand a chance against him. Even though he has become small, but his speed and power have drastically increased. He is able to devour big prey. The cauldron that is acting like his demon core is accumulating spiritual kai. He can feel that when the cauldron is full with spiritual kai, he can break through to the new level. He's been doing many difficult exercises to strengthen his body. But he doesn't have resources to support his exercises. Even though, there is spiritual energies in the surroundings. But they are not enough for his cultivation. So he wants to find some resources. Like this boar here, who is eating some melons. Zuhai gets ready to hunt that boar down. Even though, the boar is big and it's a bit dangerous. He gets ready to do it. After all he is at the peak of the first spiritual stage. And the boar doesn't even have developed intelligence. Zuhai picks two stones. Wait, is he going to kill that boar with those tiny stones? He tries to close the gap before attacking, but the boar notices him, and it looks dangerous. The boar starts to chase him, and Zuhai, who is at the peak of the first spiritual stage. Instead of fighting, he runs for his life because the boar is scary. But in front of him is a dead end. He can't escape, so he gets ready to fight back. He throws a stone at that boar. The stone does some pretty dangerous damage to the boar. It breaks and crushes that boar's body, and died with just that one attack. Zuhai is shocked to see that. He is shocked to see that it was over so soon. He never thought that he was this amazing. However, he is not buying that. He thinks that the boar is playing dead. So he throws a few more stone at it. Even after throwing that many stones, Zuhai is still on his guard. He wants to make sure that the boar doesn't come back to live. So he chops the boar into pieces. He happily eats the meat of that boar after that. Then he spits out something. Surprisingly, it's a demon core. The boar had already developed a demon core. This scared Zuhai even more, because that boar was a demon boar. And from Zuhai's information, or Chen Fan's information, they can't eat demon core raw because demon cores has violent energy. However, however, demon beast eats other demon beasts, and also eat their demon core raw, and nothing happens to them. Then he realizes that the information he has is based on human, not on beasts. Human can't eat it raw, but he is a beast. Their physiques are different, so he gets ready to eat it. After he ate the core, his cauldron starts to absorb the core's energy, filling the cauldron rapidly. He breaks through to another level. His physique has leveled up to level 2, and there are now sharp golden-like scales coming out from his tail. He is happy that he has leveled up to second level of the spiritual stage. He tries the golden scale on a rock, and it cuts the rock easily. He is surprised to see that his tail has become strong like an iron. As he was enjoying his happy moment, a shadow covers him, and it's a boy with Aquaman's trident in his hand. A human, and Zuhai is very scared of humans. Now both of them are scared. Human is scared to see the legendary old black snake, and old black snake is scared to see the dangerous human. Zuhai wonders if this boy is also like Chen Fan, an immortal in the body of a boy. If that's the case then he is in danger. So before the boy could attack him, he gets ready to attack the boy. He breaks the trident of that boy with just one attack. And after that, he kills that boy with another attack. Just kidding, he runs away from there after breaking that trident. Scared thinking that the boy's Comapnians will come there and kill him. The boy is also relieved that the snake ran away and didn't kill him. The boy comes back home and informs his father that the old black snake killed the demon pig, but it didn't kill him. Father is shocked to hear that. On the other hand, Zuhai has run so far away from the human settlement. He was super scared for a sec there. He is definitely sure that the boy was not an ordinary boy, and he doesn't want to be killed by just some human. He wants to become a giant beast that can spill heavens. And to do that, he needs to cultivate. And to cultivate peacefully. He comes to the mountain god temple. He is also there for one more reason. He heard that having a heart demon is a big bane in one's spiritual cultivation. And if one wants to get rid of it, one must stay devout. 
and he smells something tasty in the temple. And there are tasty tributes in front of the mountain god. He gets ready to help the mountain god by eating those tribute before they gets bad. After finished eating the tributes, he prays to the mountain god asking to bless him and his cultivation and all. Then he hears some people coming to the temple, and someone is begging for help. It's a lady, and she is being chased by Master Q. Zuhai hides himself and is confused about why these people have come to the temple in the middle of the night. The lady tells the Master Q to leave her alone if she will commit suicide. Zuhai remembers that name, Master Q, the one who killed Chen Fan. The one who threw Chen Fan, that powerful Chen Fan who punched and kicked him in his stomach. But Master Q beat him to death. Zuhai gets ready to do anything to not be noticed by Master Q. However, Zuhai is confused about why Master Q is in heat in the middle of the night. He finds humans so weird, because they gets in heat at random times. Unlike him, who only goes into heat during spring. What's more, he thinks Master Q's taste is bad because he is attracted to that frail woman, who can't even survive if thrown in the mountain. Master Q, on the other hand, gets ready to do the do thing with that lady for daring to threatening him. The lady gets ready to turn into ghost but not let him touch her innocent. He broke her engagement and killed her man, Chen Fan. She is not going to let him have his way. Zhu Hai gets ready to slip from there, hoping that the mountain god will bless them. But the hand of that mountain god falls off. Two humans get shocked to see that. Master Q is shocked to see that there is someone in the temple. And the lady is shocked to see that the mountain god is there to help her. Master Q asks whoever hiding behind the statue to come out. The lady runs to the statue hoping that the mountain god will save her. She begs the mountain god to help her, but gets shocked to see the snake in front of her. She shouts saying it's a spirit beast. Master Q also gets shocked to hear that. She tries to run away from there, but gets stabbed because Master Q was right behind her holding that knife. He gets shocked because he couldn't perform the do thing with her, hearing his loud noise. The guards also comes inside and are shocked to see that their Master Q finished so fast. Master yells at them and informs them about the beast and orders his men to kill that beast. He informs the beast that he is from the snake-catching sect, and now he is a dead meat. Zuhai gets super sick after hearing that Master Q is from snake-catching sect. If he catches him, he is a dead meat. So instead of waiting for his doom, he gets ready to fight back. They get shocked to see the snake suddenly becoming bigger. Master Q is gathering Kai to attack the snake. He orders his men to finish that snake for handsome reward. Zhu Hai also gets ready to kill Master Q first think that Master Q is strong because he is a cultivator from the snake-catching sect. Zhu Hai attacks the two guards and kill them instantly, chopping their heads off of their body. This shocked him because he didn't think that they would be this weak. And Master is shocked to see that the snake killed his two men in an instant. He realizes that the snake is a monster and he can't win against it. So he runs away from there. This surprises Zhu Hai because instead of gathering Kai to attack him, Master Q is running away. But not so fast, he attacks Master Q with his tail and smashes his head. And now that he has killed them all, he wonders if he was in trouble because he ate the mountain god's tributes and anger the god. So he tributes those people to the mountain god as an apology. And he saw what he wanted to see, what he wanted to hear from the mountain god. After that, Zhu Hai leave for the mountain, so he can cultivate properly and peacefully. After a week of practice, he is still in the second layer of the spiritual realm. His spiritual energy is far from being filled for the next level. And he is hungry. He wants to have a nice meal just like that demon pig. But all he got are some birds. And now he is in the watermelon field, because the boar was eating the melon. He too thinks that he can eat the melon. Then he hears someone talking about the flood and the fish they got from the flood. It's the father and son. He remembers the boy. It's the boy with the fork, who tried to attack him. The boy notices Zhu Hai, which scared Zhu Hai a little. The boy then grabs a bucket and runs to the hill. Seeing that the boy coming straight at him, Zhu Hai hides on the tree. The boy leaves the bucket of fish under the tree, and leaves from there. This surprises Zhu Hai even more, because that boy is just dropping that bucket of fish there and is running away. The boy then tells him that the bucket of fish is for him, a reward for killing the demon pig and not for killing him. Zhu Hai quickly comes to check the fish. However, he is on his guard thinking that the boy might have poisoned the fish. But the fish are still alive and moving. So he gets ready to try one to check it. He then tries another one, and another one. The boy is going back to his home and is happy that the old black snake is eating the fish he gave it. A man comes in front of him, a very big man, asking him about the old black snake. And the man is from the snake-catching sect. Two people have come from the snake-catching sect to catch that old black snake. They ask the boy about the snake. The boy informs them that he has never seen any snake like that. They then hear some crows crying on the top of the mountain, and gets ready to go and check thinking that it might be the old black snake. 
The boy is worried about the snake and hopes for it to quickly run away from there. As the snake catching sect people are about to leave for the mount, they hear someone shouting the old black snake ate someone in the river. They rushes to the river to catch the snake, and the boy is confused about what is going on there. Because the old black snake was just eating his fish under the tree. How could it be at the river eating people? Some bird eggs have broken and it was because of this the crows were crying. And the culprit is the snake. Even after eating a bucket of fish, he went for the eggs of those crows. And he is also confused about how did he appear in the river and ate people. And why did the boy said that he has never seen the old black snake? Anyways, he gets ready to quickly from that location before the snake catching sect people come after him. And he is going to the another side of the mountain and he needs to cross a river to do that. He starts to cross the river and plans to stay on the other side of the mountain and cultivate peacefully. But he doesn't have any food, so he needs to find some food on the other side of the mountain first. Then a big shadow appears in front of him. A big eel comes out from the river, and its mouth, it looks familiar. Zuhai is shocked to see the eel, or the mouth. He dodges the eel's attack, dives underwater to have a good look at that eel. He wonders if it's the eel that ate the people in the river and he is taking the blame. He notices some wounds on the eel's body, and it's eating fish to replenish its energy. Seeing those injuries, Zuhai realizes that the eel was fighting with the snake-catching sect people, and looking at the action and aura of that eel, he realizes that the eel is trying to eat him to replenish its energy. So Zuhai also gets ready to fight back. But then he runs away because that eel escaped from the snake catcher. It must be too strong for him to handle. But the eel is not letting him run away. Zuhai dodges the eel's attack. Zuhai then attacks the eel and bite a chuck of its meat. But the meat of that eel is not that good and now his mouth is burning like fire. He starts to see fire under the water. He realizes that it's an illusion caused by the meat of that eel he just ate. The eel appears to be in double or triple than its original size. He calms his mind first. He remembers Chen Fan's cultivation mentioning about how to break an illusion. He gathers his kai in one point and breaks the illusion easily. He is happy that he managed to break the illusion. But right in front of him is the eel with its mouth wide open, ready to devour Zhu Hai. This time, Zhu Hai attacks the eel with his golden tail and splits the snake in half. He is shocked to see that he actually managed to split the eel into half with his tail. He never thought that his tail is this powerful. He gets ready to refine his golden scales more in the future to make them invincible. But first he gets ready to leave from there. Next, he has collected the meat of the eel and the eel also has a demon core. What's more, the eel also has a plate of the snake catcher. Zhu Hai is shocked to see that the eel had ate a snake catcher. He thanks the eel for killing those snake catching guy and apologizes for killing it. But he gets ready to make good use of its meat. He then puts the core in his mouth and continue his journey to the other mountain with his new founded food and a demon core. The snake catching people who were looking for Zhu Hai arrives there and finds the traces of the old black snake going to the other side of the mountain. And that mountain has many dangerous beasts, like the iron bear, a very dangerous demon bear. However, the junior brother still thinks that they should go after the snake because it has the energy of a very special person in it. And the person Zhu Hai ate for the first time. He had a very special body. And these people thinks that the snake still has that guy's energy in its body. And if they can absorb it, it will help them greatly in their cultivation. However, it is too risky to go to that dangerous mountain with only two of them. So they gets ready to bring some people along with them. But, after the winter, they gets ready to go into that mountain when that mountain is covered with snow. When the bear and snake will hibernate. And they will gain profit at that time. Zuhai have also found a very cozy place to cultivate. He now has meat that will last for a few months. And now he gets ready to start his cultivation. Now two months have already passed, and the mountain is now covered with snow. Zuhai have also made some minor accomplishment. He now has three more golden scale on his tail. And his cauldron is also almost full. He is at the peak of the second level. However, he is running out of food, so all he can do now is go into hibernation. Wait until next spring to go out of the mountain and hunt food for cultivation. And the snake-catching people have also come to the mountain and has brought many people with them to track the snake. They are experts in tracking snake. They quickly find the hideout of the old black snake with the help of their two snake hunting dogs. They inform the snake catching sect people about the pit where the snake is hiding. And Zhu Hai is shocked to see that they found his hideout so quickly. He is now in big trouble. His body is stiff and cold, and he is currently at the most vulnerable time. He can't escape, let alone fight. The people who found the pit hole of that old black snake asks for reward from the cultivators. But the cultivators informs the people that the feces above the pit belongs to bear and that pit is not the pit of the old black snake. The cultivator shows them a hole and tells the villagers to look for the old black snake in that hole. Zhu Hai is relieved that he managed to fool them by placing the feces of bear above his pit. 
and he even dug a 20 meter deep hole. So he is sure that the humans won't be able to differentiate it. He gets ready to restore his body. And the villagers are mad because that pit hole is the snake pit hole. Yet the cultivators are not believing them. The cultivators also already knew that the pit hole is where the snake is hiding, yet they said that it's not. Because they don't want to give reward to the villagers. That's why. They send them to the bear hole, so the bear will kill them all and they don't need to pay them any money. The junior brother gets ready to go and wake that bear up to help his senior brother deal with those villagers. Zhu Hai is shocked after hearing their conversation. He didn't know that the human's heart was this dark. And now he is also in great danger. They knows about his whereabouts. He heard them saying that they will fight the bear. So Zhu Hai gets ready to take a chance and devour the demon bear. Break through to the third level. Then he realizes that, that's impossible. They won't allow him to just go out there and eat that bear and break through. And he doesn't even know whether he can even beat that bear or not. And the senior brother is also thinking about taking care of his junior brother and take all the benefit. Junior brother comes back after waking up the bear. And Zhu Hai have also find an opportunity to survive here. The cultivators are having internal conflict. The bear comes out of the cave and starts to attack the villagers. The villagers asks the cultivators to help them. But senior brother tells them to deal with it by themselves, because they are the one who woke that bear up. The villagers finally realizes that they set them up. They don't want to pay the money and wants to kill them all. An old man takes out his arrow and shoots at junior brother. The arrow hits junior's brother's pouch. His treasures falls out from the pouch. And Zhu Hai benefits from this, he gets a Kai replenishing pill, which can revive his body. The bear kills all the villagers. Junior brother asks his senior brother to help him collect his treasures. Senior brother starts to collect the treasure, while thinking that all those treasures are his once he picked them all up. But junior brother also has another plans for his senior brother. He throws his senior brother where the bear is. The senior brother falls right in front of the bear. Junior brother, his name is Zhao Wenzhou, and senior brother is mad because his junior brother trick him before he could. Junior brother has been preparing for this opportunity like from a few months before. And junior brother doesn't care about the snake and bear. He is there just for the senior brother. The bear attacks senior brother. He takes out a talisman. And a big blast happen. Burning the bear too. And now that the senior brother is dead. And the bear is in rage. Junior brother gets ready to leave from there and report to the sect about what happened there. And Zhu Hai is saved. This is his legendary turning point. There is no snake catching sect people after him. And the bear is also greatly injured. He eats the pill, gets energized and gets ready to take care of that bear all by himself. And, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then do 500 likes for part 2. Also like and subscribe for more. And stay tuned because next is going to be a big, kaboom.